Only recently has the hype around the construction of the Line skyscraper in Saudi Arabia quieted down, and another incredible project is being prepared. But if there are still more questions than answers with the line, then the cube-shaped project has already been approved and even the timing of its construction has been announced. According to its creators, the cube will be the largest intra-urban building in the world. The skyscraper will be so large that 20 Empire State Buildings would fit in it, and hundreds of thousands of people would be able to live in it at the same time. A new incredible skyscraper is scheduled to be built directly in Riyadh. But what do we know about the capital of Saudi Arabia? The region's largest city covers an area of 738 square miles. As of today, about 9 million people live there. This makes it not only one of the most populated cities in the world, but also the fastest growing city in the region. And when a large number of wealthy people are constantly in need of housing, it is not surprising that something grandiose will be invented even if you understand that it had to happen. The modern heir to the throne of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, presented another project to transform the capital into an ultra-modern city. According to his idea, Riyadh should become one of the 10 largest cities in the world. And the icing on the cake should be the Mukab, a golden cube of 400 meters on both sides. But we are not talking about one building. The capital of Saudi Arabia will undergo a metamorphosis. A whole new area will appear in the city called New Muraba. 10 million square miles will span 104,000 residential units, 9,000 hotel rooms, over 80 entertainment and cultural venues, 10 million square feet of shopping malls, as well as 15 million square feet of office centers. The project also provides for the creation of a residential and commercial complex a museum, a technological university, and an entertainment center. The new Maraba is projected to improve the quality of life of Saudis and promote a healthy lifestyle, according to the authors of the project. The facility will be built in one of the developing areas of Riyadh, a 20-minute drive from the international airport. Although the project may be perceived as the whim of the rich, it has a strong scientific basis, according to Yasser al Shishtawi an associate professor at Columbia University and a researcher at the Persian Gulf University in Washington. As an expert in one of the teams involved in the development, he claims that the facility will offer a unique experience of living, working, and entertainment, as well as will have its own internal transportation system. And what about Mukab itself? This is a massive golden cube in the center of which will be built a skyscraper in the form of a glass dome. In addition to living quarters, offices, hotels, restaurants, tourist sites, and retail space, a tower will be built in the dome. But the most fantastic thing is that all this vast space will be able to transfer anybody to another reality. To Mars or to the depths of the ocean. Or to the land of the giants. Or to the world of Avatar with its floating rocks. The creators promise us a unique and unparalleled experience using the latest technological advances in virtual reality. By the way, in addition to the constantly changing landscape on the dome itself, elements of holographic animation will be integrated into the urban landscape. Although Mukab will become an obvious key dominant in the world around it, it is thought that it is well suited to this terrain. After all, the facade with triangular elements alludes to the Naji modern architectural style which is popular in the region. And according to the same Yasser El Shishtawi, such an object can become a unique icon that will become the same global tourist symbol as the Eiffel Tower, the Sydney Opera House, or the Burj Khalifa. But besides the incredible special effects and graceful architecture, Mukab is expected to be able to house hundreds of thousands of residents. And everything will be built in such a way that a person will have everything, so to say, at hand. Any necessary public services will be no more than a 15-minute walk, i.e. within one kilometer. According to Andreas Krieg, a researcher at the Middle East Research Institute at King's College London, while well, we used to talk about Saudi Arabia in the context of human rights violations, now we are talking about the fact that this is a country of development that is able to build futuristic cities. It is critical to note here that the project got a clear timetable for completion, we should see its implementation by 2030. 
And this is one of several mega projects that Public Investment Fund is currently implementing in the country as part of the Saudi Vision 2030 plan, aimed at diversifying the economy. In the history of Arab countries, there are examples of both incredible building masterpieces such as the Burj Khalifa and of epic failures that didn't end well. 